What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Ellis. Back at the junkyard. I got an alert for some new, new shit. The old box. Should they clean? I cleaning out some room and shit. I might have to come take some shit off the motherfucker for this time. <laughs> but they putting out some new shit out here. It's going down. I'm trying to see what we got here. So I got an alert for a box Chevy. Oh, there you go. Got an alert for a box Chevy. This one is a 19. Oh, fuck. It's an LS swap box. Oh, snap. <laughs> what in the fuck, Eddie? What in the fuck? This is crazy. This is why it pays to be first, nigga. It is a LS swap box. Then hit the yard. Wow. Do I know, buddy? How long did you... Was this buddy that had... I don't know, bro. Bro, this is wild. I mean, I knew I was coming out here to check on a box, but I didn't think it was gonna be a box like this box. 862 heads. That means that that computer's already flashed. <laughs> See, I was just running the setup like that. They had little headers on there. Bro, this is crazy. That is crazy. Definitely wasn't expecting that. That. Temple Police Department. It was abandoned. Wow, bro. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. It is kind of rough. Some parts into the back seat. Okay, I guess like a lot of parts is back here. Trims and shit. All right, sorry about that. We got a phone call. I'll call them back in a minute. This is crazy, bro. I wonder do we got all of them joints. Yup, it look like they do just two of them. Might have three. Might have three. Yeah, see, we got three of them. So we got three of them things. We gonna grab those. Yeah, bro, but this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. But yeah, man, let me get what I'm going to get up off of here, man. And, uh, shit, I guess I'll catch y'all back on in a minute. This is just lunch break. And, uh, yeah, I got to get busy, so I'll holler at y'all. Yeah, so y'all ain't going to believe this one. LS swap box. In the yard, man. I was trying to see what uh, what pan they got on there. I can't really tell. It 
look to be the truck oil pan on there. Got the dual exhaust ring. Bro, this is crazy. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Hey, y'all let them know, me. LS Chevrolet 254 found a box, bro. <laughs> Whoever they are, you let them know. LS Chevrolet 254 found a box. All right, so as you can see, I had to change shirts, go back to work. Now I'm back out here. Gonna finish getting it in. It's all mine, baby. I'll let y'all know when I'm done with it. All right. So we out here getting it in, man. Y'all know I didn't really need too much of nothing off here, man. Uh, mine is complete. Uh, maybe take the fan shroud. This is a different looking radiator. I kind of like the way that radiator look in there. You know what I'm saying? So, but I don't know that that wasn't the reason for it to be on the side of the road to get this orange tag. So, it's, uh, it was abandoned. It's an 88 blue Chevy Caprice, body style photo. Woo woo woo, 1400 block first date it was noticed was the 30th of april at uh one o'clock and now here it is may and we we'll see where it's sitting at so yeah so well, let me see show you what i got uh window motor or window wiper motor uh three 10 millimeter bolts Holding it to that bracket there. There's an additional two. The, 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 yeah, an additional two 10 millimeters that hook right there. Let's see it. It's trying to get us like another little piece there at the bottom. I'll grab it in a minute. Matter of fact, I got a magnet. <laughs> I got a magnet for that. You know what I'm saying? If you if you vertically challenge like moi, I ain't that tall. Then you know you just stick your magnet back there. And just boom, just whatever you need to get. So if you can get close enough to it. If I can get to where the hell I'm trying to go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, baby. Yeah, so these two go around the knob, I'm guessing. That uh that there moves the wipers and shit. Uh, and then you see there you have uh the connection I hook up to it. Video of that. So we know when we gotta hook our shit back up, how it's supposed to go. All right, all right. So yeah, this is what we came for. Viper motor for our Chevy. It's in there, like swimwear. I highly doubt. I don't know. I don't know what to say now. <laughs> Cause the car was sitting, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't sitting for windshield wiper joints. Uh, windshield wiper motor, brand new, 130, refurbished. Junkyard price, twelve dollars. <laughs> you know how I'm rolling. But yeah, man, I just want to show y'all a little bit. I guess how they did the swap, man. Like I said, probably gonna grab that fan shroud. Check out that. Let's see what is this? See, so got they got that plugged off, but technically that was supposed to go. See, people don't be knowing what they're doing. See, this <laughs> this radiator is made specifically for, you know what I'm saying, the vent that's supposed to come out the throttle body. So, I believe, see, they plugged it off. If that's the vent that I think it is, y'all, yeah, they should have uh, 
That's what they should have done. <laughs> uh, other than that, like I said, I don't really see much more. Milwaukee, that Milwaukee life. <laughs> we don't talk about it. We don't be about it. <laughs> zip, 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 zip. <laughs> All right. So, uh, like I was saying though, the fan shroud looks to be in good condition. Uh, this hose looks to be a little different than mine, if I'm not mistaken. Like the way it just comes across is like perfectly done. So we might go ahead and grab that shit. You see, what? that's probably like an eight though. Yeah, that's an eight, that's not a 10. These on the side is 10 though. Yeah, them on the sides is 10 though. So yeah, like I said, I'll probably grab this radiator, man, and that's about it. This radiator, this fan shroud, and then we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it. Like I said, I am kind of curious why this ended up on the side of the road. So clearly it was cooling in there. Or a little bit anyway. Uh, depending upon the price of the radiator, I forgot what they charge for them. I might grab it, might not. I don't know. But like I said, I do like the way it just fits. Boom, right down to the shroud. Looks good. Still run the clutch fan. I know I told y'all I was on the fence, but I like the way that looks. So we rocking with it. We rocking with it, we that it fell on our lap. Ugh. Being that it fell in our lap, we rocking with it. So let me finish this up, man. I'll cut you back on. All right, so as you can see, they ran a standalone uh, harness using a big fuse block. This is something that I've not really seen, but I have heard of this bidding. You can do it. Um, they have the wire for the accessory power right there. I'm not exactly sure where they was running a constant hot from. I see how, I don't know, I see it there, I see it. Running to the back of the alternator right there. So, and then that wire comes across on down over here. Uh, your battery so that's how that was getting constant hot um look like somebody or they started taking the spark plugs while pl uh, spark plug wires off these are some big ass wires 10 millimeter joints i don't think i've seen them joints uh, i don't even think they even necessary uh could be wrong i don't really know I was trying to see what else was on here. So if y'all coming out here to get some, let me show you what's here. Uh, all four of the rims and tires are here. Uh, as you can see, the side trim is here. All the way along the side of the car, the wheel wheel trim is there. Uh, got some of the back trim here show y'all inside the car uh, seats look to be pretty decent look like some pillar top joints they cut the whole back out I guess to put a put some speakers back there or to have a blow through uh Headliner. This dope panel kind of screwed up. 
See, they put this looks like a fairly new aftermarket carpet in here. This black. Um, it's like if you want to use the horn or some shit. Uh, rear view mirror, a couple other things. Nothing really major on the inside. Just depend upon what y'all looking for, man. Depend upon what you're looking for. But these seats do look in good condition. If you look and it's a headliner in here. Uh, it's kind of, well, it's, it actually, it feels pretty, it feel like it's been redone here recently. Yeah, I feel like it's been redone here recently, so. I want to be, come check that out. I think it's black. Uh, let me see what else. I think both of the doors, I can't get in on this side for whatever reason. But yeah, man, that's pretty much a walk around of everything. Uh, what's left? We need a trail. I was gonna say if you need a trunk, but I kind of beat that up. If you need these little armrest joints, these look to be in pretty good condition. I was gonna grab them, but I don't think I am. <coughs> I ended up getting some other shit, so. So yeah, about that. They got a mass earth pose sensor. That was up under the hood. I don't know what it's doing in here. But yeah. Let's see what transmission they was running. 4L60E. Got these uh, collectors. Yeah, that look like a 4L60E. Well, it might be a 700 R4. <laughs> I'm trying to see. I can't really tell. Let me look at the other side. It'd be easier to tell. Survey says. Survey says 700 R4. See, it's still cable driven back there, so. 700 R4, 350. I don't know if that's right. They transmission cross members. That's the uh, drive shaft. I don't know if it was supposed to be that far out. Got <coughs> some mufflers on here. Can't really tell what brand, but duels ran all the way to the back. See, they got their lines ran for their tank. Oh, not they dumped right there. Uh, so, when we see this. Come check it out, man. 5.3, already in the box. Like this basic guy all you need, right here. So, boy, signing off, gone.